the result of your injuries we were told in the washington post and other places because you were a girl rambo and that just turned out to be not true yet the statements were made by people in the military to the press so they were trying to get a story out and of course both stories are very self serving when you think of uh, those who are trying to um, support the wars in afghanistan and iraq the um but then the military had an opportunity to rescue you and you were in captive for 10 days but there was a whole day before they captured you when they were preparing not just to rescue you but to to videotape the rescue were you aware of that or aware of it now I, yeah, I was aware. Well, not at the time. I wasn't aware no, that they were videotaping not then. me, no. But um, after the fact, yeah, I knew about it. And um, well, now, you know, I kind of understand why they, they did it. Well, maybe you understand it, but it just seems to me that this, I come from Hollywood. I expect show business in Hollywood, not from the military and yeah. not to support a, a, a story that was a fabrication. Uh, we, uh, we heard from... Uh, our staff interviewed Jim Wilkinson, the Director of Strategic Communications at CENTCOM. He, he informed us of the plans of your rescue operation. Uh, he informed the press operation a full day before it happened. And there's uh, Lieutenant Colonel John R Robinson. Uh, he is someone who worked for Mr. Wilkinson. He explained to the Washington Post why the press office was so interested in getting video of your rescue, that they postponed your rescue to do this. And he said, we knew it would be the hottest thing of the day. There was not a, an intent to talk it down or embellish it because we didn't need to. It was an awesome story, the awesome story of your rescue. Well, this might have been an awesome story, but this was your life. And you were the one feeling the pain. And they were trying to stage a rescue to uh, sustain their uh, heroic story that they made up. And your story was heroic enough without that fabrication.